Hi and welcome. In this episode, we're going to install and set up Vue application. We'll use Vuex, Vue Router, SCSS preprocessor, and then we'll set up Vue Access. And then Bootstrap Vue for Bootstrap components. So let's get started. Okay, so first we need to install Vue CLI. I'm in terminal right now, and to install it, we just run npm install command with dash g for global at view slash CLI. And that will install it. I already have it, so I will not do it. So just for reference, I use Node version 8.14, like npm version is 6.5, and view version, view CLI version is 3.3. Okay, so let's create directory for our project. I'll call it bg tracker series and let's cd into it. Now here I'm going to create view application with view create command and the name of the application bg tracker view. That will ask us some questions, so let's answer them. I'm going to manually select features. So I want to have the progressive web app support, router, Vuex, and SCSS preprocessor. Also, the intro is good, but I will not use unit or end-to-end -end testing, at least at the beginning, just to save us some time. So I'm hit enter. And another question, use history. Yes, I prefer to use it. SCSS is my choice. ESLint just for error prevention is good. I don't want to lint on save, in dedicate, and I don't want to save it. So it will take some time, so we'll montage this thing. Okay, it's done, nice. So the first thing that we need to do, let's uh, CD into it, of course. And the first thing that I want to do, usually, I just clean up the project. So I'm going to open it in editor. I'm going to use Vim editor in this series. Maybe later we'll switch, but we'll start hardcore. So and let's see what we have here. So in source folder, we have a lot of unnecessary files for us. So for example, we do not this components so folder, so let's delete it. We also don't need views. These are just pages, the sample pages. I'm going to delete them as well. Uh, the app, I will create it from scratch, so I will delete it. Uh, the router file here, I will just get rid of this route and let's save it. Also, I do not need to have home here anymore. And you can see that file is formatted automatically and that's because I use Prettier and I recommend it. It's very cool uh, tool to have. Just to be sure that other people use uh, Prettier as well, let's uh, install it as the dev dependency, Prettier. But of course you need to set up your uh, editor integration with Prettier for it to work properly. Okay, back to editor and here in store, in store everything is fine, it's just the empty view store, so I will just save it for now. And the latest and the last thing is the main digest file, that's the entry point for our application. So here we have the only thing that we changed here and, and broken uh, is this app. So let's store all our components in components folder, like this. So now let's create components app.view file. So now here I need to create the components and I use snippets a lot. You will see during this series that I use uh, snippets almost for everything. So I highly recommend you to you know, master your editor snippets uh, features. So for example, here I create component just with a simple vcom snippet and it gets the name of the snippet from the file name, which is cool. I do not need to type it. So let's add here the h1 uh, welcome. And when I save it, Prettier will also format uh, the U component as well, which is also very nice. Okay, that's it. Now we cleaned it up. In assets, I need to delete this logo. That's not my logo. And I'm good to go. So let's try to run it. So I'm going back to terminal. And here, let's run yarn serve. Okay, it compiled all the files and it runs on localhost 8080. So let's have a look. So here, if I reload this page, here we go. Welcome, nice, it works. So it's a good place to commit. So let's go back to terminal. I'm gonna just open new tab. And here I will run some git commands. I use aliases, so for if, when you see that I type git st, that means git status, basically. Git aa, that, uh, the same thing as add dot, 
so add everything to staging and git cm is the same as commit dash m because it's very hard to type i just type git cm and provide the message itself in our case it's initial commit and sometimes i will commit behind the scenes so just to save us some time hey there just a quick self-promotion if you like what I do, find it valuable and want to support my work, I encourage you to go to gsfullstacker.com. There you can become a member for just $13 per month and you'll get access to all content that I've already published, plus 5 new episodes each week and access to Slack community where you can ask questions and get updates. You can cancel anytime, no questions asked. Link in the description. And now, back to the video. Okay, our app is running, it's good, but now let's add Bootstrap. And for that, I'm gonna install with yarn n bootstrap-view library. And I will use it mostly for components that requires um, JavaScript, like modals, navigation bar, etc. For everything else, I just use regular CSS classes. So now we need to register Bootstrap components. So let's go back to editor here. And let's go to main file, main.js. Here is where I want to input the bootstrap. So I will do input bootstrap view from bootstrap dash view. And now I can register it with view.use bootstrap view. That's almost everything that we need to do, except that we need to include CSS file. So there are several ways to do that. We can use CDN. We could just import Bootstrap uh, CSS file into our project, or we can use SCSS. And that's the way we will go because we will modify the theme using SCSS. So let's create in assets, let's create style.scss file. And here I just import bootstrap slash SCSS slash bootstrap dot SCSS. It comes from node module bootstrap, of course, and this bootstrap has been installed by bootstrap dash view library as a dependency. So we have it. So now going back to main.js file here, I just want to import this style. So I'll just do import assets dash style SCSS. Let's save it. And now if we go back to browser, you see that the font has been updated, the styles has been updated, now we using Bootstrap. Nice. Okay, so we're going to make a lot of requests to API server, which we'll create a little bit later. And to do that, we need some kind of a library. We could use fetch, but I personally prefer access. I'm a big fan of this library and we'll use view access just for convenience. That's not required at all, so you can skip it. So let's go back to terminal and let's just gonna clean it. Yarn add view access and access itself as a dependency. Back to editor in main.js file here, let's import access from access and view access from view access. Now we need to register view access. So we'll do it as we did with bootstrap view, view use, view access. And we need to pass access instance, in our case, unmodified, just default access library. And that's all that we need to do. Now we can use access inside of our view components and it's stored in view instance. So let's commit our change. So just do git add all and git commit, let's say bootstrap and access setup. Okay, that's pretty good. In the next episode, we're gonna start mocking authentication. Intrigued? Well, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next episode.